Let's check back in with meteorologist Lauren Casey for the full forecast. Hey, Lauren. Hey, Matt. Amazing how loud pea-sized hail can be. Can imagine even bigger hailstones, but a lot of us heard that sound in Burlington County with a severe thunderstorm that came through and dropped small hail left and right through portions of Morristown, Mount Laurel, and as that, in the case in which we saw in the video, Lumberton as well. Each of these symbols a report of pea-sized hail. We had some in Delaware as well with the shower and thunderstorm activity that has been traversing the area over the last several hours and still catching a few rumbles of thunder. Just doesn't want to come to an end at this point. Seeing a little bit of a rumble popping up there as we look towards Camden County. Still some light rain coming down in Philadelphia. So we got wet roads, 95, 295, Schuylkill Expressway. Also a little thunderstorm just moving offshore in the Brigantine area. A little lightning strike recently. And also some light rain returning now to portions of South Jersey and Salem and Cumberland counties and getting a live look at Center City, Philadelphia. Still a little bit of light rain being reported at the airport right now. Our temperature, what a drop over the last several hours. We had the afternoon in the 70s, now down into the low 50s, about to fall off into the 40s, and we still have that breeze as well. Yeah, cold front is moving on through the region, generating those showers and a few thunderstorms, but now this colder air is situated to push on in behind that frontal boundary, so our temperatures are going to be much chillier for our east Easter holiday and the winds they are whipping and the breeze is going to stay with us throughout the overnight period and that is going to influence those wind chill temperatures as we wake up tomorrow morning heading out early for any Easter egg hunts you'll need to bundle up your Easter's best 36 degrees our feels like temperature in the city feeling like 30s and in some cases 20s to the far north and west early temperatures are going to be on the much cooler side of average we should be in the mid 60s tomorrow only low 50s for our Easter holiday Day. Winds will be whipping all throughout the day, northwesterly 15 to 20 miles per hour with some higher gusts. And then as we head into tomorrow night, temperatures falling down to near the freezing mark. So we do have a freeze watch in effect for a majority of the area from midnight until 9 a.m. on Monday. So if you have any of those nice spring flowers, spring planters, want to cover them on up or bring them indoors or they could be harmed by that cold air. As we look ahead towards the late day on Monday, after that cold start, we are going to see some rain moving on in over spreading the area likely around commute time Monday evening a soggy Monday night in store and a snowy night in portions of the Poconos where we could see a few inches of spring snowfall in the higher elevations as we head into late day Monday, Monday night and early Tuesday morning. Otherwise windy into Tuesday, cool again, but temperatures do make a rebound with quieter and more pleasant conditions as we push towards the second half of next week. 68 and sunshine, not bad for next Friday, man. Yeah, looking forward to that, Lauren. Thank you.